I don't know. Is this the one for me, me, me? Is that other one for you? Do you think that you are Dada made? Well, let's Dada sing, shall we? Hello, Teacher Lashandra here. So, I am going to kind of talk about why you should not choose Dada, if you're wondering. Now, yes, I am a Dada teacher. I'm just going to help you make your personal decision. I have my reasons for why I'm here, but there are certain things that you should consider before making the commitment of being with Dada. Now, first of all, it is a commitment. Like when I say commitment, like for real, for real, you sign a contract and your contract is your schedule. Whatever schedule you want to work, you pick your days and you know, whatever available hours they have, you pick those available hours, you pick your days and you sign that into a contract. You are expected to be in attendance on those days and on those hours. I get so many people that contact me asking about, well, what if I want time off? What if I want to take vacation? What if I want to do this? Well, they do currently have this thing where you can take long-term leave as long as they have, I think it's 14 day in advance notice, you could take some type of a long-term leave, okay? Now, as far as short-term leave, you get two days. Two days a month, that's short-term leave. And they want at least 24 hour in advance notice. Now, if you're constantly abusing that, then that could cause for termination of contract. Contract terminated, you're no longer a teacher. So those are things to consider as far as making a commitment with your schedule. So that's reason one, number one. I don't want to commit to a schedule. You don't want to work for Dada if you don't want a set schedule. Okay, so reason number two is you want to be able to pick the age range of students that you work with. Nope, <laughs> you are having to be available to whatever age range they give you. So they generally it's from like four until like 16, four to 16. However, you don't get to pick whatever class they assign you, whatever level they give you, that's what you teach. So if you're like a stickler, like I don't wanna work with the kids that are this age group, then Dada may not be for you. Now, if you are one of those like planner, planner, planner types, and you need to have access to every lesson that Dada has created so you can create folders and get stuff ready in advance so that in the event that you ever have a class for that particular lesson, you already know because you've studied it or went over it or whatever your motive is for needing to know all the lessons and have them save to your computer in advance for your own viewing data is not for you <laughs> now you do have access to the courseware as soon as the student is assigned to you whatever lesson that they're doing oh, there's so so many lessons i don't want last minute bookings i want to be able to plan my lessons at least a day I need some 24 hour notice to plan my lessons. Dada may not be for you. <laughs> so, just so we're clear, then you they will give you classes sometimes a week in advance. I mean, you know, they book me up with my regular students. Now, when you get your regular students, which are the students that sign up for you and you teach them on those specific days at specific times all the time, you will know what the lesson is. They will schedule that like a week. I get my lesson planned two weeks out. So I already know what we're going over. They're my students. I know what we've done. I know where we're going, okay? Now, if you have any empty available slots that regular students have not occupied, they can put anybody in there at any time. You could have went to bed and was like, well, you know, I have two slots available you know for example then you wake up you get to teaching 
or maybe you wake up and there's classes there but you don't have time to review it or you're in the middle of teaching and your next class was an empty slot but in the middle of you teaching your current class bing, another class has popped up so after this class then you got to jump over into your next class it happens it happens it really does but those dada veteran teachers they already know like it's you just in that class then you jump in and kind of look at okay this is what we're going to do and then you jump in that classroom and it's all good you got an idea of what the objective is by looking at it but if that's something that's like a no bueno for you like no no one should be able to book me same day then that may not be for you okay i want you to read this one right here good yes read that for me all right good job next one all right If that's your teaching style, Dada is not for you. <laughs> okay, you don't have to be all like do, 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 like I am. You don't have to do that. Every teacher has their own personality. But if this is your go-to personality, Dada is not the 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 platform for you. Maybe you need to probably teach adults. Okay, so obviously none of that has stopped me has detoured me from staying with dada i love it i i just really do because i just like that it reminds me so much of having my own classroom in the brick and mortar you know schools i go into the classroom i'm giving the curriculum like all right this is what we gonna go over and i teach according to my teaching style based off the student's pace and so that's the planning I do. I kind of get a feel of the student and I plan individually for that student. I have some students that are advanced that need a little more, you know, teaching aids. And I have some where my only teaching aid is my cell phone. And I'm gonna do another video on how I use my cell phone and my iPad and cool apps that I use in the classroom. Really, really cool apps that I use in the classroom. So stay tuned for that. And as always, T-T-F-N. <laughs>